My name is AJ and my speech is Firefighter's Essential Use of Communication. Entering a flaming building is something very few of us are able to say we've done in our life, but firefighters on the, are on the other side of the spectrum. These heroes men with other forces such as EMS and police to effectively complete tasks and missions that they are called upon. These virtue swarmers are trained to communicate effectively and professionally, as you'll learn later on in this speech. After my extensive research, I have prepared to inform you just how important proper communication is within the workforce. In specifics, I'll be touching on firefighting and first responders. The three main points I would like to touch on include radio, citizen, and media communication. This presentation is important to firefighters as well as citizens because of the safety aspect between the two groups. Proper communication methods are essential to everyday life, not only in professional careers. Communication is what builds relationships, jobs, and what is a setting foundation for us as humans. I cannot stress how important human-to-human -human interactions are, and by the end of the speech, I guarantee you'll strengthen your understanding of how essential communication is. The first point I'd like to hit on is the procedures to communicating on their live radios. Anything they say can be virtually heard by anyone around the world, so these first responders speak in a specific code to keep information discreet amongst each other and the public. Along with that, simplified codes can reduce time in these stressful moments, and they're easier to understand as they're numerical. Uh, in extreme situations of fatality, it is crucial that these first responders do not announce a death notification over the radio. According to the FBI, it is incredibly important that the families with the loved ones that have passed away are informed properly of the death notification, as this is a moment that will stick with them for a lifetime. This is one small example of how powerful communication is. The second aspect of communication within the fire department is how they talk to citizens and civilians. For instance, these men get called out to medical situations such as car wrecks and elderly incidents within their own homes. The firefighters and EMS must speak in a calm, clear, and simple tone as some of their patients just went through traumatic events. The instructions that are given to the victims are essential and it's critically important that the firefighters and the patients have clear communication with one another. The third and final factor of communication within the fire department includes how they share information with local media and news sources. As, as most of the time they're first on scene, the news and media will come to them to ask questions. It is, an, it is important that these men are able to recite exactly what happened just by using facts. For example, in some in instances, the fire captain will share announcements with live television. As the fire captain probably wasn't on the scene, it is important that his men are able to film in on the situation at hand even though he wasn't there, so he can pass it on to people. The three types of communication I went over in this speech with you today involve citizens, radio chatter, and media. Techniques and procedures learned in the academy perfect communication within the workforce. The various numerical codes are to be learned and translated in normal ways of communication for these men and first responders. The takeaway I would want all of you to have is that proper communication helps the world go round. From childhood to college to retirement, we cannot go a single day without proper communication. We are always striving as humans to perfect our communication skills, and I hope this speech will just show you how important essential communication is in everyday life.